Hey, it's the Afro Muller, and today I am presenting a previously recorded Afro on the Couch crew play Jackbox games. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Hey, it's the Afro Muller, and we're playing the first Jackbox party pack here with the Couch crew. We're gonna try ones we haven't tried before, so we've done. Okay, how about. Have we done Lie Swatter? I don't think we've done that one. Alright, so we're gonna try Lie Swatter. Welcome. Do you have, do you have your phone? Yeah, I don't know if that's true or not. Hola, and welcome to Lie Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. Right. We can accommodate a huge number of players in a game. I hope that impresses you. Everything impresses me. Sure, why not? <coughs> There's four of us, right now. I think Megan's texting somebody. Are you getting in, Meg? Oh boy. Alright, everybody's in. All right then, before we get started, don't forget, new players can go to this website and enter this room code to join the game at any time. Let's play. Good for new players. All right, I don't remember playing this one. We're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from these five. Oh, maybe categories. we did play this one before. I don't know anything about Paul Newman. Paul Newman was on Nixon's enemies list. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. I don't know who Paul Newman is. So I just guess. Whiskey? I know. Whiskey is made from beer. <laughs> huh, I got that wrong. Martha Stewart's French Bulldog is named after a friend she made in prison. Ooh, I don't know. Sounds like it will be the truth, but who knows it could be a lie. Who's Martha Stewart? <laughs> That's great. I don't think... What? I got that wrong. That's not cool. Pi. People who worship the number Pi are called Pifflers. I don't, I don't think so. I... Who worships the number pi? Hunter S. Thompson's middle name is Sasquatch. There's only two buttons. How do you press a random one? <laughs> Good, uh, go us. Public restrooms in Japan have toilet cats to keep people company. <laughs> I, I would, you know, I'd go for that. I would go, the cat, the cat, the cat comes to visit me in the bathroom anyway, so. The Moulin Rouge now houses a TGI Fridays. Moulin, it's Moulin Rouge. Wow, I, I totally fail at this one. And here's where everyone stands at the end of round one. Wow, I am in last place. I am in last place. I air. Here are your next seven fact categories. <clears throat> All right, I might know something about office supplies. <laughs> the Guinness World Record for most bottles of whiteout drunk is one. Oh God! Why would you drink whiteout for any reason? It's whiteout. It's it's. Oh. Wow. Wait, is is there no? Record for it, or was it more than Martin one? Luther King Jr. was in an art class with Bob Ross. I... Wow. That'd be cool. Aw, I... You know, that'd be awesome for us, true. Ryan Adams has Elvis's kidney stones in a jar on his mantle. Sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know who Ryan Adams is. Aw. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting any of this right. 
five candidates named Batman were on Brazilian ballots for the 2012 election. I I think. <laughs> hey, wait, so who won? Did Batman win? Elvis didn't die, huh? Jimmy Carter's statue outside his presidential library is made of peanuts. I don't know. Have you ever been there? It's a lie. Jazz. Jazz is short for jazz boning. What? I don't think they teach that in school. When it's 2012 in the U.S., it's 2005 in Ethiopia. What? What? What's Ethiopia? Ethiopia is a country. Oh my goodness! How is that true? What? How is it seven years behind the rest of the world? How does that work? So, if I go to Ethiopia, am I seven years younger? <laughs> For the final round, all the facts will be about one category. Oh boy. That category is Scooby Doo guest stars. All right, I know this one. Which of these celebrities were really guest stars on Scooby Doo? All right, all right, all right. And Stop. which ones are we lying about? All right, all right, guys, pay attention. Kiss. Were they Scooby Doo guest guest stars? Truth or false? Two thousand three, baby. Roseanne Barr. Who's Roseanne? You don't know who any of these people are. I'm crying. I'm crying on the inside. Bill Clinton. Wait, what? I feel like ah uh, ah. Uh. And sinks J C Chazé. He was dating Shaggy's ex. Go, go, Shaggy. The Harlem Globetrotters. I like the Harlem. They've been on that Scooby Doo like more than anyone else. Not a lie. The Dukes of Hazard. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, so I got it right. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Oh man. He was never. Oh, I was the only one that got it right. Did I win? Oh! 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 Let's see the final scores. I was so close. Fifteen points. Fifteen points. That is so close. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try this other one, Word Spud. I like the I like the one Jack Box Party game where you like I don't know do the puzzles and cut the. I don't know. We've never played this one. I don't think we've ever played this one. No. Okay. Wait, wait. We have to pay attention because they're showing us the rules, and I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so, I don't know, sick, just finish typing something. Oh, sick. No, it's only, uh... I didn't do anything. like this game. Maybe because I don't really understand it. You don't like birthday cake? Yeah. We already had cake.
What if we just downvote everybody? Like if I if we just downvote everybody, they won't win. Not a kid. Downvoted so I can win. I, yeah, I don't like that game. Yeah. All, right. All right, so I think we played everything in there. So let's go to the next Jackbox party pack. We we played Drawful a lot. We played You Don't Know Jack and we played Fibbage. So let's let's go to the next. What's what's in two? Uh, I don't know which one that's in. Five or six. 
No, that one's not that good. <coughs> yeah, I didn't like that one. Which one haven't we... We haven't played... I think we played everything except Earwax. <laughs> yeah, we played everything in here except Earwax, right? That's about the only one we haven't played. So I guess it's the only one we're going to play. Because we played uh, Quiplash, we played Fibbage, we played Bidiots, and we played Bomb Corp. So the only one we never tried is Earwax. So I guess let's try this one. Never tried it. I don't know. I don't know. I know Megan's an egg. Three, two, one. Alright, we don't know how to play this game. Hello, welcome to Earwax. I'm Mother, and I will be your host. Now, here's what's going to happen. Each All of right. you will receive six sound effects on your device. One of you will be the judge, who will pick a prompt to play. The rest will choose two sound effects that you feel best represents the prompt. Once all sound effects are in, the judge will choose a winner. Three points is all you need to win this game. Any new players can join the audience at any time. So basically, the judge can screw you the room code if they screen. don't like you. Be a joiner. Here we go. The judge is. Oh Select great! Your prompt. Oh no. The prompt. 94% of what Superman super hearing picks up. Players select your sounds. Just pick two answers. And then she gets to pick the answer she likes the best. Hopefully she they don't tell who gave the answers. 94% of what Superman super hearing picks up. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> You're not listening to me! Hooray! Josh, oh. it's in your hands now. A decision has been made. The chosen sounds are... Sweet. The point is yours. Enjoy it. The judge will be. It's time to select a prompt. All right, you're the judge, so. It's it's an egg with a fork and a knife. Is he going to eat himself? Yeah, it's you. Look, I don't want to burden you with difficult tasks. I'll take care of it. Okay, so. Your prompt is as follows. Alternate ending to The Sopranos. I never saw the end of The Sopranos. Select your sounds, everyone. Oh, boy. Just pick two things. It's okay, because the person judging doesn't know what The Sopranos Alternate is either. Alternate ending to The Sopranos. So just pick somebody you think wins. Let the games begin! <laughs> Judging is done! The winner is... <laughs> One point goes to you! Way to go! And the judge is... Pick your prompt. Alright, pick your prompt, judge. Just pick something. Our prompt will be... 
What's under Dumbledore's robe? What? It's time to pick two sounds. How is that appropriate? <laughs> I feel dirty now. I feel so dirty. What's under Dumbledore's robe? Ugh, inappropriate. <laughs> He's got. Oh, come on. <laughs> Judging commences now. <laughs> Just pick one you like the best. Can I press on the thing or yes, press touch on the thing. thing. You've had time to read it. Come on. Just pick. The judge has decided, and the winning sounds are. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. I got to say, you have earned funny. one point for yourself. You should be proud. Meet the judge. Probably All right. Time. Pick a good one. <laughs> and the prompt is... This player's <laughs> first kiss. <laughs> time to choose your sounds. Make this one good, guys. Make it good. This player's first kiss. Oops! <laughs> Judge, do your thing. Oh. A winner has been selected. The sounds chosen are. You're embarrassing. Oops! You are now one point richer. Judging this round will be... What will it be? Pick a category this time. I now present the prompt. This player's reaction to seeing a Oh, this should be good. This should be good. Give me good things to pick from. This player's reaction to seeing a ghost. Nineteen twenty. Let the judging begin. They gave us all horrible choices. The best sounds have been chosen. They are. Point. Congratulations! It's gonna be a close game. The judge. <laughs> and you're the judge. So you can't even win on this one. Pick something. Prompt time. The, the best, best way, way to quit, quit your, your job. job. Choose those sounds wisely. The best way to quit your job. <laughs> Judge, start judging. A winner has been selected. The sounds chosen are... Stop the gameplay! Based on points, a player has won this game. Megan won. There you go. Cool. Let me introduce the winners of the most likes. Well, that was that was actually fun. So. But... <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, 
We did everything out of two, so I guess we're moving on to three. I don't know what we haven't done out of three. This one's gonna require some heavy editing. It's gonna be a long, a lot of long pauses. I'll just do Jackbox Party Pack Part 1, and then split it into six sections. Which... Uh, we've done Quiplash. I don't... This is the one I think we don't... We haven't done the most out of. Because I don't remember... Un, other than playing Quiplash, I don't think we've done really much. Have we ever done... We've done Trivia... Murder Trivia Party and Quiplash, and that's about it. I don't think we've ever done Faking It, Gespionage, or the other one, whatever it is. So let's just start with Gespionage, and then we'll go to Faking It and TKKO, or whatever it's it is. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Alright. What is oh, that did mean? we play this one before? That's the alarm that goes off when the world's man button population I think we did because I what remember picking an animal we to the or basement something. And we waited out. Okay, everybody, file out in an orderly manner. Remain calm. I, I don't remember Eight, playing this game, but I remember picking a character, so... Well, I've played all the Tetris I can stand for the next few days. The only thing left to do? No, not switch to Dr. Mario. Take all the info your government has collected on its citizens and use it to play a little game I like to call... Gespionage! <laughs> Off we go! Who's up first? You're up first. Let's see if this one pushes any buttons. What percentage of people will not say anything to strangers in elevators unless the strangers speak first? Ooh. Think carefully. You want to be as close as possible to the actual percentage to get the most points. I don't know, man. That's a paradox. Got it. 50%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Oh, I think it's... I do think it's lower. Just one of you is saying higher. And Surveil says... Oh, wow! Percent! Not terrible. You get a few points at least. So 80% of people will talk to strangers so, without them talking first. Here's some points. <laughs> I don't think they're creeps. I think they're just being polite. Okay, Step on an elevator and somebody says, Nice day today, huh? It's not being a creep. I'm going to search... Phone faking. Oh boy. What percentage of people have faked receiving phone calls or texts to get out of conversations? <laughs> oh boy, what do you think? I can't. How do I vote? It won't let me do anything. No, it won't let me do anything. There's Any nothing on my now. screen. Oh, okay. 50%. It Everyone wouldn't let me do anything. It showed up Lord. late. <laughs> I don't know. It wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me set the thing. And Surveil says... 70%. Wouldn't it be easier if people could just say, You're boring the hell out of me. Too much? So I still got some money for that. Nice job. I've got some points for you. I think we did we play this before? I don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't Who's playing. next? I don't I don't remember, but I play a lot of video games, so. Uh, I used to deal with this all the time with my college improv troupe, Chuckleberry Finn. What percentage of people will never raise their hands when audience volunteers are requested at live performances? Ooh, that's tough. Eighty-eight percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? That's kind of high. One of you thinks it's yeah, higher. Okay, right answer is. 
I think that's way too high. That is, yeah. That is way too high because if you're already there, you want it to be at the performance. If you went to a live performance, definitely you want to participate. Yeah, when you're at school, you're forced to go to the assembly. But when you're when you're at like a concert, you want to be. They say you want to come on stage. You go on stage. Oh, this is gonna be good. Sleeping in. Oh, everybody sleeps in. Yeah. There are some people that I don't know. In a typical month, what percentage of people stay in bed past noon at least once? Oh, wow. 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 Uh, uh, I go. I don't know what I would go. That's tough. 40%. What do y'all think? Oh, oh man. It's, in a typical month. What percentage of people? Oh, I don't. I'm just gonna say. I'm gonna say higher, man. I don't know because I think I feel just like one person says lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. Oh, sweet. That's a lot of people. Yes, we only gather data on the child list. I I don't. Yeah, I mean, because it's a month. Right. It's 30 days. Well, so you gotta think weekends are in there too. You know, so you... <laughs> we made it that still round counts, one. though. Let's peek at the scores. Does it? Yes, yeah, of course it counts. Oh, but, but you were already awake. You Not bad, but sleep. things are a little different in round two. I'll it explain as we go. Count. Let's start with you. All right, you're up, Fergie. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? Pizza, ooh, a hundred percent. What percentage of people usually fold triangular slices of pizza before biting into them? Oh wow! You know people that fold their pizza in half yeah. and then eat it. Yeah, because what's the percentage on that? Yeah, but then if you, some people like to pretend they're eating a stromboli. Oh. We have an answer. Fifty percent. You're gonna leave it at fifty. Can now guess much higher uh, or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by 15% or more. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll still have our respect, I guess. Much higher. I think it's. Oh, gosh. It's no, it, it's not 50. I, 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 I don't know what it is. Everyone but. says higher. Now let's get to the right answer. Oh, no, it's gonna be lower. Oh wow! Your guess wasn't within 30% of the correct lower, answer, so you wow. don't get any lower, points. Wow! Yikes! No one guessed correctly. Woof. That's crazy. Who's next? Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people have had their shoes shined at the airport? Eleven percent. Everyone pick higher or lower. Just one person says lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. Yeah. percent. I always tell them I want to be able to see myself in these Crocs. <laughs> yep. Crocs, he did say Crocs. These are my Crocs. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you! Now remember, what are those? Okay, who's up next? <laughs> Alright, buckle in, I've got one for you. Internet search. Oh boy, <laughs> this could have been not good. What percentage of people have Googled themselves within the last three months? The last three months? Okay, seems like Golden. Seems like Golden. They're talking about all the people they asked in the last three months. I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I feel wrong about it. I feel so Just wrong. One of you is saying higher, and the correct answer is. Yeah. Oh wow! Percent. How else can people know what they've been up to? Let's 
Let's yeah, see who got it right. Well done. You get points. <laughs> Who's next? Who's winning? Oh, oh am I? Database has oh, some are. juicy data for this. Starbucks, huh? <laughs> you never even know. You never win. What percentage of people go to a Starbucks win. every day? Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! No, cause Duncan, man. Duncan and all the Turkey Hills and all the Sunokos and all the 7 Eleven. You're gonna go 75. Okay. Higher or lower? You pick. Only one of you thinks it's higher. And the correct answer is. One percent. I told you. Actually, Starbucks is just an urban myth. People talk about it, but it doesn't really exist. I told you. Cause Duncan, man, Duncan. If you it had been it right. Duncan, I would have gone seventy-five. Nice I've got some points for you. It's final time round. For the final round. We let the computer scour petabytes of data to find the most popular answers to this question. If they were going to die in a month, what's the first thing people would cross off their bucket list? Now let's see the answers. But only the top three answers will get you points. Oh, Ready, boy. go! Here's the thing. Three of these answers are basically the same. All right, let's see what everyone picked. I love how everybody okay, picked skydive and quit. Almost everybody answer. picked skydive and quit job. Everybody said they would quit their job. Quit job is only two percent. Skydive is ten percent. Travel the world is sixteen percent. And the winner is... I don't understand how Japan was higher than the world. I lost. <laughs> Alright. Wow, you is everybody's like phone charged it up for one more? Could. And only 21% of them could ever hope to. Alright, well, I think we might be able to get one more in. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna... What's the next one we haven't played? I do like it, but I would like to, to try the other ones. Do we play Quiplash? We haven't played... We played Quiplash. We haven't played TKO or Fakin' It, so whichever one's next. Uh, which is Fakin' It. Why so we have... Which, wait, why didn't we see which one was more interesting? We've played this one. Have we? Okay, so then we're gonna go TKO. Oh. Oops, sorry. We're not gonna play this one. I don't remember it, but... If they say we played it, what, what do we have to do in it? Um, I forget. I just know we played it. That title screen is very familiar. <laughs> Alright. So we'll try TKO. It does. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about it. T-shirt knockout? Okay. I'm scared. Hit. Where's the code? Hit. Oh. oh. <laughs> right? Three, two, one. I don't know what I am. Welcome to TK. Alright, let's gotta pay attention. I am the tournament master. I'm over 5,000 years old, and I'm on my 200th rewatch of The Wire. I brought you here to T-Shirt Island to make funny T-Shirts and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. But I do have ribbon candy if you're into that. Every epic tale starts somewhere. Yours begins here at the training ground. You will use your device to draw three oh. drawings. You may draw, draw whatever you wish. And if your wish is to know what to draw, hit the suggestion button. Get your drawing fingers wiggling. It's time to draw. 
What am I drawing? I don't even know what I'm drawing. Um, Why is it not letting me draw? I can't draw. I don't know. I can't draw anything. Yep, it's not letting me draw anything. It won't let me draw at all. No, I, I just had to do it real quick. I just did something real quick because I didn't even care. What are you doing over there, Fergie? Make haste oh, before time haste. runs out. No, I just drew something. Fergie, Fergie, Fergie. That is it enough, but a bit traditional. Uh, this time, try changing your shirt color with the little tabs. I don't at the really know what we're doing. Begin your second drawings. I don't know, I think we're supposed to read the clues that we haven't been reading. There are, you have to look at your, your personal screen, there should be a clue before the drawing. I think we weren't. There is, because I saw one on mine. It happens before you draw, that's why. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Okay. Last drawing. Let's get weird with it. Begin. I don't know. Just. Every time? You're supposed to be like an artiste. I don't know if there were hints. I thought there were. I'm not sure. There, there, were hints. there was something. There was, but they don't give you time to read it, so I don't know how that helps you. Only seconds remain. Seven. Six. Okay. So maybe I love to watch true masters at work. We didn't know what we were doing. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Whimsy is highly encouraged. What? And there's no shame in hitting the suggestion button if you need it. Slogans or what? So we just write a random slogan. 
Sure, why not? Keep those slogans coming. is about to expire, you may want to finish up. Yeah, you really dug deep that time. I did, I, I did six. Wow. Enough training. Direct your attention to your device. Select one drawing <laughs> and one slogan to create the perfect t-shirt combination. And I do mean perfect. I like this one. Oh, very clever. I can wait no longer. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet one. Versus. <laughs> I've seen I poop stain today's game. You I have a poop runner. Devices, that is. I, why is it poop all the time with you guys? Are we three year olds? <laughs> I on the first fight. Uh, I choose this one. Megan's win. Megan's won. Versus. Fight for me, baby. Fight. It's a voting game, we're just voting on which one we like more. Attack! What is that? It's John! Yeah, of course I vote for my own shirt. I don't know. Winners! Oh, I need a breather! Let's take a training break. Wait, we have to draw more shirts again? Back to the Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Last chance to be clever? Go! I don't know. It's not a hint. So just draw whatever you want. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't think I like this one. They don't, you just draw whatever you want, they don't give you any clues or anything, and then you just vote on which one you like, or something, I don't know. That time is it's not, not a professional drawing app, it's just a game. Oh my goodness. Two! Alright, she got it in at the last second. She got it in at the second Begin so right! Oh my goodness.
Only seconds remain. The second gauntlet looms, and the hairy paws of Kismet have shuffled your drawings and what? slogans. Make a new shirt. Do it! <laughs> I don't understand anything anymore. I've got a good feeling about this batch. Oh man, two. now we get to see who shirt is the best. Dang, I'm out of Versus. toilet paper. Smart! <laughs> what? Oh, I hate ties. Let's just go with this one. Alright, add toilet paper. Megan's gonna win. A new challenger appears. <laughs> Battle! <laughs> <laughs> you missed a hundred percent. Why is it a giraffe? I wanna know why it's a giraffe! <laughs> Where did you see that at? I didn't see a prompt anywhere. Fight each other! The tie goes to the defender. Ah! Go, Fergie! Actually, you missed a hundred. <laughs> That's hilarious. Winner! That's a weird duck thing. So, what is that on its head? Is that for five? Oh my the toughest shirts from the previous rounds go toe to toe. Oh, the shirts from the previous road. round. So it's Megan versus Murray? Is that it? Versus. Or turn! So basically, the computer chooses to win because we split. So no. Not always. Yeah, it is always that side. Versus. The reigning champion wins time. Next time, get more votes. <laughs> Wow, that side wins no matter what! My work here is done, but if you ever need me, you know what to do. Play the game Isabel again slogan, is I mean. And somehow Fergie wins the game? <laughs> I don't know, alright. No, we gotta, we gotta try more games. We're never... Like, your phone's at 11%. We're never gonna get there. Alright. You have 17 friends online. You have unlocked 12 achievements, and you have... Oh, my goodness. What, what, what are we up to? Four now? Yeah. Are we up to four? I think we did everything out of four, didn't we? It's 11 o'clock at night. We, we did everything out of four. Have we done everything out of five? I think so. Let me see. Wait, I like I like. The we rap did split one. the room. I like the rap one. I like the rap one. We've done them all. We've done them all out of that one, yeah. right? I like the okay. rap one. Okay. But we. Well, I said the edge. So. I think we did the, the what? The room. We did split the room. You didn't like it. Oops, wrong one. So I only leave six. I think the only we haven't. The only one we haven't done out of six is... No, the one with the dictionary and the boat. Yeah. That sounds boring. Dictionarium... Did we do role models? Yeah, I think... And push the button? Not push the button. Wait, there's a game called Don't Push the Button. If you wait for 30 minutes, you get some reward, I think. What? How is who? I don't know.
He's washing his brow, I guess. So, did we do role models? I can't remember. Oh yeah, did we do joke boat? Okay, we did do joke boat. Well, we don't know until we try it. Are you like, saying we? Are you saying we can't do book guys cover? Why not? Yeah. Okay. I did next big cruise line comic. I know I'm not. Welcome aboard. I'm Chuck Hull, the ship's captain and MC. Grab your dummy and sign in. Why do I have a dummy? Why is it my loading address? Toot toot! We got a scoot! I don't know. Go back. Go back. Why does your dummy look like me, Megan? Uh-huh. Did you go back? No. Go back. Any time now. M D H A. There you go. Doesn't really matter which one you pick. Oh. All right. Let's see how this one goes. Gather round, comedians. Here's tonight's itinerary. We're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage. Oh boy. But first things first, it's brainstorming time. Before we jump into the jokes, let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired. On your device, you'll be prompted to write various topics like animals, people, or objects. Fill in whatever you think has a lot of comedic potential. If another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke, you'll get some bonus points. Generate as many as you can. You have 45 seconds, starting right. Now. Okay, time to wrap things up. Follow the steps on your device to write two jokes. Trust your instincts, unless they're bad. Choose a setup, choose a topic. We're at the halfway point. Stuck? Then hit the joke for me button. I am floating because, oh, booey, do we have a great show for you. Welcome to the stage, our first <laughs> two comics. It's Sad Jokes the Game. Oh, boy. Are you ready? No, it's Izzy. 
Okay. <laughs> Dad jokes the game. Fergie. Don't forget your catchphrase! I have more toes than a cow. Okay. Nice job, you two! Judges, what do you think? Well, if I only had to pick one... <laughs> Hers is slightly funnier than his. Like, not by a lot, though. Let's keep this joke boat moving and welcome our next comic Seriously, to the stage! That looks like me. My love life is like Charlie Brown and Snoopy. I, I don't get it. Holy salami. Which joke was funnier? Vote now! Yay, I guess? Here's another comedian, whether you like it or not! Yeah, this game kinda sucks. A little bit. <laughs> That's when you do something? <laughs> Give me dystopia. I, I don't. Oh boy. Seriously, creepy doll. Looks just like me. Wow, we haven't split the vote on any of these so far. And some credit to you! Our next comic is ready to hit the stage! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's okay. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. I can't vote anyway, but... Yeah, it's hard to keep this PG-13, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Some of these games would be a little more... I don't know, appropriate for an older audience. Who is currently winning comedy? Let's see! IJ Gameplay! Oh, look! Some of you are achieving comedy! We have to do it again? Well, well here we go for round two, guys. You've got the wind in your sails now. Okay, so let's we write know how to do this. Jokes. We can skip it. I don't know.
I just discovered what planking is, now people are literally walking all over me. Not funny. Dad jokes the game. I wonder if anybody's noticed that none Move of these to toilets were- Wow. Must be high tide because we are reaching the height of hilarity. Let's bring our comics back to the stage. You're up next, IJ Gameplay. Are you ready? When I was a kid, we didn't have Sundays. We had demonic possession? What? Oh, boy. My family is like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Fat and sticky. <laughs> At least it fit. Yeah. It did fit, though. Which comedian told a better joke? It's Look like now! Then it will somehow pick yours. <laughs> Yay, no. Winnie the Pooh. Well, it's the Everybody likes Winnie the Pooh. No. <laughs> you don't like Winnie the Pooh? I don't. Folks, put your hand and hook don't together know who Winnie for the our Pooh next is. comedian. Is, All right. Like oh my goodness. Middle school for me was like sunshine. Fine, unless you are looking directly. <laughs> I like that. That's good. That's a good one. That that is good. I would never steal anyone's joke. That's Don't wrong. Steal it, credit it. <laughs> credit All right, Fer joke. Fergie. The invisible man looks like a cross between wall. <laughs> uh, no, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. You lose. Vote for the joke you like. Oh, the computer told Megan. Yeah, it said joke for me. She technically Please cheated. Please welcome our next comic to the stage. God created push notifications by pushing people off cliffs. Are you bouncing around to the music? You're up, Mego. How many astronauts does it take to change a light bulb? Three. One to screw it in and two to fake it. Ah. Oh. Did you have a joke for you again? Yeah. Liked me better. Ahoy! All it's right, our Fergie. Next comic. Have you heard about the frosting challenge? There's a frosting challenge. That's where you put it on some someone's face. <laughs> he's good. At, you know, he's good at sports. Okay, well he can pick something. Oh, I want to open a store that only sells I don't know and call it I don't know. I don't want to pick either of these answers. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh my goodness. Uh, whatever. Oh, wait. Glitches right there and you can see the background. And tip of the hat to you. Megan got some points for that somehow. Let's and see who's somehow, on top and who is scraping the winning? bottom of the bear. Is he still winning? No, oh, I'm winning now. If you're at the top, that means you're the headliner right now. Oh boy. Let's start another round. These jokes are so good. Yep, dad jokes the game is getting kind of. It's gonna hit the, the rubber ducky and sink. Let me get some joke to save. 
That, it, it didn't, wow! It didn't even hit. <laughs> That's great. Well, we're sinking again. There's no time to write jokes from scratch. So, here's the plan. Let's rewrite another comics joke. You'll use the same setup, but we'll attempt to write a funnier punchline. The better the original joke did, the more points you'll earn for beating it. Can you steal the spotlight before the boat sinks? Let's find out! Yeah, I just, I just kind of just wrote something in. Yep, that joke's the game. Kind of lame. Please leave your personal belongings behind, but bring your laughter back for our performers. Ricky got fit at what he's on a boot. <laughs> By notifying you, you were getting voice? Okay. Did they successfully beat this joke? Vote now! Split it. Who wins? Oh, we both get points. Sunshine. Better when I don't look right at it. Somebody hasn't voted. What? Wow, guys. Wow. You're gonna win. Alright, Fergie. I'm so old, I remember when Barbie was. A bad sport... A bad sports player? What Barbie are you talking about? You don't know who Barbie is? It's a doll. It's a girl's it's the kid's doll. It's a plastic, yeah. You've never, how have you never heard of Barbie? I feel like that is, it can't even be real. I brought your sister up some bar little Barbie dolls the other day. Let's see who's won a trip with me off this sinking monstrosity. I won. Yay. <laughs> we're never we're never playing that game again. Nope. But don't we have one more to do? Just one more, I think. I think I don't think we can get through it on four percent. We could try. I don't even know what it is. Dictionary or push the button. Okay, we'll do push the button. Hopefully that's a lot quicker. Nope. It is by, like, looking at it, just looking at it. We'll do Dictionarium another time. Push the button. I don't know. We've never played it. And we know it's fun. D. F. B. 
I am. Drop Dead Fred's a good movie. Fred, you've seen it, but you don't know who Barbie is! I don't watch Barbie. It's not on television! Somebody. Somebody, just... <sighs> no, it's fine. Sorry to interrupt your cryo sleep, no, but I thought it worth mentioning that no, I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. Okay. And just as I suspected, the aliens have uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. I'm here to guide you through if you'd like. Yeah, we're gonna play the tutorial because we've I'm now initiating before. security protocol Zeus Apollo Hot Dog, which is a series of tests designed to evaluate your humanity and reveal any aliens hiding amongst All you. All right, which one of us is the alien? Do we know? Are we told? I have determined that one of you is secretly an alien. One of alien. us is secretly an alien. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Oh boy, we are told. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. Okay, so one of us is an alien, and we have to figure it out. By my calculations, you will have 12 minutes before I cease to be. 12 minutes so to play I'd this appreciate game? it if you could figure out who the alien is, and then push the button. What? You I don't will be our first captain. I have repurposed the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. You can be impressed now. Choose an available room and your desired participants. Welcome to the writing pod. You will be given a fill-in-the-blank prompt. Answer honestly, because it will be scrutinized. Right. The alien virus will allow the intruders to get something similar, but not quite right. When the correct prompt is revealed, it will be up to you to determine if any seem odd. As time winds down, I'll do my best to send the aliens some real stinkers. It's the least I can do. Just answer whatever you see. What, what is, I can't I, I can't answer for you. I don't know what yours said. Stop reading it out loud. Just answer the question. In order to run this test, actor, I have to read Pat Be Stupid from the database. When Pick an actor when and... When I'm in a rush, I can't think. I can't think of any actor just, or actress. You can't think of any one actor or actress. Well, I can't, but I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get I love it! I love... I can think of somebody, I just hate them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it could be anybody. Just name somebody quick. You have, you're running out of time. I don't know how much time you have. So I, one of us has to guess who the stupid alien is. You don't have ten minutes. You have like ten seconds. And the human prompt was. The actor or actress I want to play me in a movie is. Let's That's why see you don't what read your things out loud. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? <laughs> yeah, they both. Look for any written answer that doesn't seem quite right, and don't forget to hit that suspicion button. Talk to each other and find the truth. But remember, one among you is an alien and will be lying. I don't know, I guess so. Hey everyone, if a player seems to be taking way too long to move on, you can tap the hurry up button to speed up the time. Right, yeah, we all pick. We're on the clock here, people, so let's. There are four spaces, I don't know how to speed the Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Megan, you're the captain. Okay, let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less than 10 minutes.
Great, I gotta draw something. I hate drawing. Welcome to the drawing quarters. You'll be given a prompt to draw. Draw it the best you can because the alien virus will give our intruders a similar yet different prompt. When the drawings are revealed, cast suspicion on any you find to be a bit off. As time goes on, yeah, I'll I do my draw best that. to send the aliens harder prompts. You're welcome. Going up against an artist. Humans received. Draw a map of the United States. And discuss. Keep in mind someone may have gotten a bad prompt, or they could just be a terrible artist. Why is it saying I didn't pick when I did? Uh oh, it seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Up. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. When looking at their probe screen, an alien can select any human and secretly give them the alien prompt. To make things worse, Aliens can choose to help themselves and switch their own prompt. I hope you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. I did gameplay, you're the captain. Just pick one. They both suck. Just pick one! Doesn't matter. Just a coin. Now pick two people. I'm pushing the button. <laughs> it's not working. Welcome to the deliberation deck. Humans will be given a difficult decision and must choose which answer seems appropriate to them. Aliens will see no dilemma and must choose their answers blindly. When the crew sees the full statement, aliens may have to justify their random selection or face suspicion. Let's see what these players choose. If they're an alien, I bet it's peculiar. I want to accuse somebody of being an alien. Why won't you let me push the button? And here's what humans saw. Your, Your worst, worst enemy is one dollar away from raising enough for a life-saving surgery. You donate. No money. Do any of these go, answers Megan. seem suspicious? Yeah. Now you have well, to decide who's an suspicious. alien, or just makes terrible life decisions. For, why would you give somebody fifty dollars? And if don't they forget only about those one. alien hacks. A smart alien can make someone look suspicious by flipping their prompt. I want to tell you who the alien is. Let me push the button. Is the glitching getting worse? I feel like it's getting worse. Look at your device. You can now push the button and take us to the extraction room. Yeah, let's do but that. I would recommend you only do this once you're confident I don't care. in your suspicion. Pushing the okay, button. next captain, you're in charge. Yep. I pushed it. Welcome to the extraction room. Check it out, I've stopped the timer. It's costing me a lot of CPU, but I don't want you to feel rushed. Since you were the one to push the button, isolate the crew member you believe is an alien and press confirm. Now the non-isolated member shall vote. If you all vote yes, and this player is an alien, then the humans and moi are safe. But if they're human, then it's curtains for us all. Okay, time to vote. The vote has to be unanimous. If anyone votes no, we'll have to go back to the main cabin. What? The vote has failed. Way to well, go, that Fergie. Was a bust. 
The crew member who pushed the button can no longer push it. Oh boy, we're stuck in this game. Who just said she was an alien? All you can do is keep testing until you can all agree, okay? Tell me you've got it this time. Who pushed the button? Who made you isolate? Button. You only get one minute, so act quickly. Alright, I'm gonna say yes. Okay, time to vote. Yes. The vote passed! Yay, the game's over. Are you the alien? Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Some of these games are bad. Some are good. We're gonna check out maybe dictionary tomorrow. Have a good one. Peace. And I'm out. <laughs>